Back at Hagen's, here picking up our huge cooking ingredients and juicing ingredients for the week. Kira's asking for the yellow ones for the curry. All right, go ahead. Why don't you pick one that is good? Those smaller ones are the ones we prefer for curry. And we'll use all these carrots up because we use carrots all the time. So we've been traveling a lot. We actually all got sick. I don't know if it was because of travel or just something going around. And whenever we're not feeling so good, green juice, lots of green juice. Oh, is that juicing carrots? Speaking of juicing, look at this. Should we get this? I think we'll use all that. This whole bag, 10 bucks. That's a good deal. We'll use all of that too. And of course we call it green juice for a reason. So we'll get some kale. This is a kale that we like, the Lacinto kale. It's just the easiest thing to juice with. Get two bunches of that. This will last probably two to three juices. So we always put lemons as well. Hey, can you help me with the lemons? Gotta make sure they're nice and firm. There we go. You know, a whole bunch of these. You don't want them to be too squishy, okay? Thank you. I think that's gonna be good, right there. Good thing about lemons and citrus fruit, they can last in the fridge for quite a while. We've already got a whole bunch of Fuji apples at home, but we like to mix it up for the tartness from the Granny Smith apples. So we'll definitely get, I wanna say like four or five of these. Typically we buy our juicing apples from Costco because it's cheaper. You can't really find a lot of organic green apples at Costco. And the good thing is green apples usually are a little bit cheaper. So $2.99 for organic apples, that's a good deal. This is our favorite brand of tomatoes right now, the Sugar Balms. They're not organic, but they're definitely sweet and we do love that. Something we haven't juiced in a while are beets. I'm gonna grab a whole bunch of these. The thing about beets is fairly affordable, but super nutritious. Lots of nutrients you wouldn't get from other root vegetables, I guess you could say. So this is what I'm talking about. You can kind of tell these bananas not quite turning. I don't know if they pick them too early or what it is, but see, if I bring these home, they will never turn fully bright yellow. I'm still gonna buy them because they're gonna be okay, but I'm not gonna buy too many of these. If anybody knows why some bananas ripen nicely and then sometimes they kind of have that funky half ripening thing going on where they never turn fully yellow, they always keep their yellow, other green color. Let me know because I'm always curious about that. You know, what does look good is these. Maybe I'll get these. Hey, you think Bella would like these? I think so. Hey, you think Bella would like these? The little bananas? Yeah. Baby. Baby bananas. Let's put them in. Here, I got to put them down because you got to be gentle with them. Yeah, so mommy gave me a list. Carrot, smoke, eggs, bacon. Okay, that's pretty basic. You gonna hold that for me, please? Thank you. All right, so we need some milk. So this is the brand we get when we're here at Hagen's. But we drink so much. I've been just going for the whole gallon. When you buy this whole gallon, it's actually cheaper than, I think, if you buy this at Costco. For the eggs, this is our favorite brand. Always look at the um, per egg price 72 cents this one says 87 cents 77 cents obviously this is this is the one to go for um now this is the 18 pack non-organic it says 63 cents i mean that's a deal but not that big of a difference i'll go for organic but yeah those ones are looking real good hey kira you know that uh the lychee juice we got at costco how do you like it you don't like it <laughs> i tried the lychee juice we got from costco in Canada. I mean, it's not right. I, I put it into my Gatorade. So what I do is I, I take the lychee juice, put a splash of it into my water when I work out, and then squeeze a lemon into it. And so that's how I'm gonna drink both of those bottles, probably by myself. Hey, what about your sisters? They don't like it? Sometimes it. Some, oh, you like the lychee juice? Okay, cool. Then you and I can drink all two bottles together, okay? Sometimes it hits, sometimes it's a miss. This one was a miss. I don't know, when I first saw it, I was excited, but yeah, after tasting it, it's whatever. Pog, I think they changed their bottle up. It's a different brand. It's a different brand? Yeah, see? Oh, it says Pog on it? This is just the off-brand. Oh, maybe, oh, it's off-brand. You know what has changed our packaging is Newman's own. It looked different back in the day. Hey, did you know Uncle Matt has his own juice company? Yeah, look, it says Uncle Matt on it. That'd be pretty cool if Uncle Matt had his own juicing company. By the way, if you guys don't know, Uncle Matt, YouTuber, creator, 
a cook named Matt. He's been doing shopping vlogs too. And one thing that's cool about watching him shop, he's a chef. He worked in a restaurant for over 10 years. His perspective is totally different. So I love watching his shopping vlogs. You should check it out. Um, if I remember, I'll put it into the description. But if I don't, a cook named Matt. Follow him, subscribe to the channel, check out his stuff. I've learned so much from, about cooking from him. Do you girls ever eat the cheese sausages anymore? Oh, okay, we'll get the cheese sausages. So there was a period of time where they weren't into these little cheese sausages. Hillshire Farms one. Yeah, this is good stuff, but it is kind of expensive. Okay, we'll get a couple of these. Sometimes they're on sale and I stock up, but today they're $6.50. So normally we get our bacon from Costco, but I'm not at Costco, obviously. Let's see, which one's the best deal? Is there anything on sale? So much better of a deal at Costco. Ooh, I don't know about this turkey bacon. All right, so most of the bacon is pretty expensive. I'm just gonna go for this. This is our local brand right here. Hempler's Center Cut. We'll go through one of these literally in one breakfast. Kira, since you're here, you get to pick. Do you want turkey, sandwich meat, or ham? Turkey? Okay. All right. Oh, 50% off? Yeah, I'm there. Oh, two? It's been rare, so if you remember from a long time ago, we're talking one or two years ago, I used to go to the 50% off meat section, and I used to load up, but I haven't seen that section in a while. I don't know what happened. I'm sure it wasn't because of me, but uh, yeah, I definitely stocked up. I'll push it. But yeah, push it. thank you. Push it, please. I'm going to go see if they still have it. That's a good deal, 50% off, especially if you're going to use it that day. It's gone. It used to be right here. 50% off, sad, sad, sad. Now they have the 50% off stickers individually put onto the different meats. I know. Tell her to get up. 